how I keep my natural skin looking clear and pretty much blemish free for the most part it has to do with just having good genes um, but also I do take care of my skin Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining. It's Dornell and I am back with another video and this video is actually going to be a little different than the others. So in this video I will be showing you a makeup look. Very simple natural looking makeup. As you all know usually I don't go crazy with my makeup anyway. <laughs> So with that being said, I'm going to jump right into it and I'm going to be moving pretty fast because my baby is taking his nap and I'm cooking and doing laundry and I'm on lunch from work. So I'm hustling for real right now. <laughs> but anyway, I will go ahead and get started and I'll list all of the items that I use. This way you guys, if you wanted to get them yourself, you can. Let me just address this really quickly. As you see, I'm rocking a new hairdo. Do you guys like it? If so, please let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you're interested in seeing a tutorial on this hairstyle. It was super easy, okay? Like, super easy, yet it looks very intricate and elegant, and this can be dressed up or down. And I will turn around for you guys so you can see the back. There you have it. That is my hair look for today. And now I will show you how I do my very simple but pretty looking makeup. My face has already been cleansed and moisturized and I will do a separate video on how I keep my natural skin looking clear and pretty much blemish free for the most part it has to do with just having good genes um, but also I do take care of my skin so yeah with that being said I will jump in this video now So just to explain what I'm doing here, you guys, I'm using a concealer, basically the color of my complexion to try to cancel out the dark circles under my eyes. So the dark circles is partly because I don't get a, a lot of sleep and also it's because of the way that my eyes are just set. They're set a little bit more deep than forward. So with that being the case, it creates this crease here and it gives the appearance that my eyes are very tired even when I'm not tired I look super tired so I'm doing this to kind of cancel out that purplish bluish color and this is just basic like color correcting so this uh, concealer that I'm using is pretty much it has like somewhat of a orangey slightly orangey uh, base color to it which cancels out the purplish hue that I have where my dark circles are. So I'm just tapping that in. It's totally up to you if you wanna use a beauty blender or a brush. I like using my finger and I use my ring finger because it applies the, the least amount of pressure. And also use my finger because the warmth from my skin, from my finger helps to somewhat like melt the product and it helps it to absorb into the skin a little bit better.
And I also like to just hit around the corners of my nose and around my mouth because I do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation. And I do wax my mustache, y'all, but <laughs> sometimes the color still kind of like tries to seep through. So then I like to just kind of quickly and lightly buff that out with the same brush that I used to do my foundation. And then I'm going to use this lighter color concealer and this is just gonna help highlight that area under my eyes. So I actually recently learned from a fellow YouTuber, uh, I'm sorry you guys, <laughs> her name is I Am Linda Elaine. Girl, she taught me how to really give my eyes like that flat look instead of still looking like super deep dark circles. So basically, um, I just have to drag down the highlight just a little bit further past that crease mark that I have. And that's gonna help everything really like lay nice and flat once I blend it out. Okay. So again with my ring finger. And I wipe the excess off on top of my eyelid and a little bit on my chin and a little bit right here. Okay. And I will go ahead and set that side. And I set it to stop it from creasing on me while I work on the next side. Plus I'm running out of time and my battery is about to die. <laughs> so then I just drag a little bit of the excess concealer from my ring finger and I'll just lightly strip it down my nose and a little bit in the middle of my forehead can't really see it because that's just how light it is. It's like barely anything left on my finger. I don't bake you guys. Um, I find that it makes my skin look extra dry. Boom. I am going to apply some of this clear mascara. I use it on my eyebrows and I'll just brush them into place. And I do it in this order because it helps for my eyebrows to kind of like be set in like the brushed upward motion. And then when I go to fill them in, I can just fill them in and I don't know, they just behave much better once I have that product on. So while that's drying, I'll go ahead and brush a little bit of this uh, foundation powder. It's by BH Studio Pro and the color is number 250 it looks just like the mac pro one y'all and it acts like it too if you ask me i like it whatever it was super inexpensive so i got it tested out they were running a sale and i got it and i liked it a lot so i'm just gonna lightly go over the areas that i had highlighted because I'm really not going for like that super highlighted look. I just want to look 
more awake and alive that's it do that and then i go in with this little brush here don't ask me who made it i don't remember um and i know you might think this is weird but i actually take my foundation um compact and i'll literally just like dab this all over my eyelid because i just want it to be like a muted i want the color to just look like the rest of my face for the most part and plus this helps to make my dark circles that also show up over my eyelids look a little lighter so there you have it great so i'm just gonna go in actually need a mirror that's closer because I can't see without my glasses y'all <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in and lightly brush not not brush I'm going to lightly draw in what will look like eyebrow hairs And that eyebrow is done. None of this extra fancy work. I'm not doing any of that. I never believe in doing that when it comes to doing eyebrows. Um, I want my eyebrows to look like they're natural and like they're mine, not like eyebrows that got stamped on my face. No shade, but I'm just saying, I don't like that look for myself. If you do like it, no problem, kudos to you. Like, keep doing what you feel the most comfortable doing because ultimately you have to walk around, you know, looking however you're looking. So I'm just showing you guys what I do just in case you wanted to try it out for yourself or if you just wondered how I did it. Okay, perfectly fine for me. Now on to this eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use this very earthy tone color here. This is the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. So I'm just gonna brush this into my crease a little bit. And I will admit that um, when it comes to like doing eyes <laughs> with eyeshadow and stuff, that's not my strongest point when applying makeup on myself. Like I feel like I do a better job applying eyeshadow to someone else's eyes versus my own. So again, if you see me doing something that looks real crazy off the wall and it looks wrong, this is just how I do it for myself, on myself. This is not, again, this is not how I would do makeup necessarily on someone else. Um, yeah, it's weird how that works, but it's true. I've done makeup on plenty of faces and it's, it's totally different than how it would do it on me. I don't know, I guess it's like I can just see so much better when I'm working on someone else versus on versus working on myself. All right. And then I'm going to go in with the next color. It's called Bark. It's just a little darker. And I'm just going to intensify it just a little bit on the outer section. And you may wonder why am I doing my eyeshadow with my eyes pretty much open. And it's because I need to be able to see like where my lid is and 
because if you notice I had well maybe not you might not be able to really tell but I have like what's called hooded eyelids so when my eyes close it looks like I have nice eyelid space and when it opens I lose most of it and I just have like a little strip um so yeah and I just recently figured out like that's what was the issue that I've been having when it comes to applying eyeshadow on myself it's that my eyelid space is like so small so all the work I'll be working on it'll just go away once I open my eyes all the way whatever all right, I'm just gonna drag this on the bottom just a little bit As for the middle of my lid, I'm just going to go in with Shining. It's like a glittery color. And I'm just gonna press right on the ball of my eyelid. You know, a little bit toward the inner part of my eye. And I'm just dabbing it, like I'm pressing it in. I think that looks cute enough. And bring it to the corner a little bit. Just to help open up my eye. So now I'm just gonna go over certain spots with this bronzer. It's the bronzer, you guys. It's pretty, I like it. So as you notice, I don't contour. <laughs> it's not that I can't, I just don't feel like it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't. Like I don't have time for all that. I don't have that kind of time anymore, I'm sorry. For those that do it and do it so well, y'all are the bomb, but I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna just <laughs> cheat and use my bronzer instead. All right, you guys, so for the sake of time, I actually put on my mascara, and now I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my apples of my cheeks. I'm actually going to use a little bit of both color. I know it sounds scary. I'm gonna lightly My lips have already been moisturized with my Vaseline. And I'll just come a little closer so you can see it. Looks very soft, very pretty. And now to change the look from, let's say this is the day look. So to take the look from day to night, I'm gonna go in with this red lip. What I really love about this liquid lipstick is that it doesn't really have like that color transfer. It doesn't get all over your teeth. It doesn't get all messy. And you can actually use it without using lip liner if you feel confident enough with a steady hand. <laughs> um, you can do that as you see, I did it. And this is the look, you guys. So, And if you wanted to, you can just like highlight under your brows, but you don't have to. You see, I didn't do so. I just try to keep this look as simple as possible. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified as to when my next video is posted. And don't miss out on any notifications by hitting that bell. So... With this look, I am going to sign off now, you guys. Thank you so much. I love you. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them in the comments box below, and I will be sure to get back to you. Thank you. Bye.